Welcome to a new series called What Do You Make? We love making in all its shapes and sizes, from physical making to the relationships and communities that we make with our public programme. My name is Daniel Shahadi and I'm the online curator at Milton Keynes Arts Centre. And in the next few weeks, we'll be interviewing a number of artists and makers to find out what it is they make, how and why. And today I'm really pleased to be joined with the artist Carl Kirkpatrick. Hey Carl. Hi Dan. You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Thank you for your time today. So to get started with, uh, with our first question, what do you make? Um, so I'm a sculptor and the work that I tend to make uh, tends to be small objects, which I make lots of. And then I tend to place on tables or shelves. Um, the other type of work that I make sometimes, more recently particularly, are digital work. So digital collages, which use photographs of um, the sculptures that I make as well as other photographs that I take as well. Great. And what kind of, um, I suppose, how do you make, what kind of processes and materials do you use to make that work? So I use lots. I absolutely love materials. Um, I love objects and the materials that I use and the objects that I make uh, often relate to natural landscape formations um, and sort of textures and materials and, and forms that you might find when you look at natural landscape formations. Um, so some of the materials that I use, because I think if I were to list all of them, I'd be here for a very long time, so would you. Um, so some of the processes I use are things like 3D printing. I sometimes make ceramic works. Um, I sometimes carry out sort of scientific experiments where I'm growing things like crystals or waiting for water to evaporate or growing things like mould. Um, so lots and lots of different materials, things like plasticine, things like woods, things like metals. I particularly like copper um, more recently as well, things like wire. Um, I've got a quick example here that I had lying around my house um, of a copper sulfate crystal um, that I've grown on to a wire structure that I made, which sort of initially looked like tree roots, um, but now it looks like something that you might find sort of in a cave and yeah. an explorer. Um, and as well, 3D printing, 3D printed objects here which I've then painted, which I suppose if you were to take a quick look at it, it sort of looks like a series of rocks kind of piled up on each other. But as you can see, the things I make tend to be really, really small and kind of fit, fit within the palm of my hand as well. That's great. Thank you. And, and why, why, why do you make? <laughs> why, are you, why are you spending your time making these things? Um, I think it's inbuilt for me to make. I have, like I've like I keep saying, like I've said, I have a passion for materials and objects. So I really like um, to just constantly make, I find myself constantly making. So I make for myself really um, to understand the world that I'm living in, the world we're living in. Um, majority of it comes from when I'm like walking, walking around in nature. So walking through fields, walking through woods. Sometimes if I'm walking um, up mountains, which, which I've done previously, um, and the things that I find like rocks or I might find some trees piled up, some branches, those sorts of things. Um, and I want to make my own versions to understand what I'm seeing. Often, again, sort of small scale, so I'm shrinking everything down so it's really, really small. Oh, lovely. Really interesting. Thank you. Cheers. So we would all like to see what you guys make at home. So please share with us what it is that you make by tagging us in your posts. Hashtag what do you make? And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Cheers, Carl. Thank you, Dan.